Hey guys, welcome to the Little Chum Review. Today I'm going to try this Hormel Square Table. This one is the Sliced Roast Turkey Breast and Gravy uh, Premium Turkey. 21 grams of protein per serving, no preservatives, no artificial colors and flavors, no artificial ingredients, BPA free tray. Um, it is a 15 ounce or 425 gram uh, container and this is in the refrigerated section. We bought it at Walmart. It was $6.97. I'm sure they sell them other places. We happen to get it at Walmart. Um, so, here's your info. 110 calories per serving, three servings in a container, 330 calories total. So you can eat the whole thing for 330 calories. I don't think that's bad. Um, so you can make open face sandwiches, you can make a Rachel sandwich, whatever that is, and a turkey, turkey with salad, okay? And they got other recipes too if you go to the website. So you go on the stove top, it's basically just dump it in a pan and heat it up. Of course, we're not gonna do it that way. We're gonna do it in the microwave, but you can do it in the stove if you want. So we're gonna remove the outer sleeve, do not puncture or vent the film. Heat on high for three to four minutes. I'll probably go ahead and do the full four. Um, or until hot, self-venting film, uh, blah, blah, blah. Let it stand for two minutes, peel back film, and careful, it's gonna be hot. It will be hot too, just let me tell you. Now let me turn you down here. Pull this off. There's your sliced turkey and your gravy. Uh, this thing will, will balloon up. I mean, it'll get a really big balloon on top of it. And it may or may not like um, vent out of the side or the ends. Uh, just when you open it, be very careful because it's really stuck on here really, really well. And uh, steam will come out on your hand and burn you. So just be careful when you're opening it. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave and I'll be back when it comes out. All right, so here it is in the tray. Pretty thick slices of turkey, honestly. You can see how thick they are. So I've got a plate. I'm gonna transfer these to you. Sorry about the noise. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to see how many slices you get. There's two, three, it looks like four maybe. Three. Is that just a really thick one? Yes, it's just a really thick one. So there's four slices. Uh, yeah, four slices of turkey, it's just really fall apart -y. And then you get your gravy. The gravy. Move that there. Move that there. Now you can't eat it directly out of the tray, but I figure I would show you what it looks like out of the tray. I mean, if it was me, I would just eat it right out of the tray. That's how I would, that's how I'd make my lunch if, if I was doing it for lunch. If you're eating it for dinner, you can just take it right out of the tray and put it on plate, people's plates and they would never be the wiser. Get some mashed potatoes with the gravy. That'd be some good stuff. So I'm gonna take this over to the table and uh, give it a try. All right, give us a little time to cool off. Cut up some pieces before I try it. It's still steamy though. So I did put it in there for the four, full four minutes. Let it sit for two minutes, pull the tray, the plastic off. It's so sticky around the edges, you really have to fight with it not to dump it in the floor. Um, so just be careful when you're pulling the lid off the plastic. Here we go. I really like the the texture of the turkey is really um is really tender. Quite a bit of flavor in the gravy as well. Yeah, that turkey wants to almost fall apart. There's a lot of salt in there. I bet you the sodium is really high. Um, yeah, 940 milligrams, or 990 milligrams per serving. Wow. If you eat this whole thing, you ready? One, 3,010 milligrams of sodium if you eat the whole package. It is 131% of your daily sodium intake if you eat the whole, all the gravy and everything. Wow. I thought I tasted a lot of salt in there. It's not like it's, it, it doesn't taste like it's salty, like you dump salt all over them. It doesn't taste like that, but you can definitely get that, that salt taste on your tongue, um, which probably helps make it really good. But if you're watching your salt, you'll never touch this. <laughs> you'll look at it and go, wow, I think I'd have a heart attack if I ate that much. I tell you what, doing my Hank Hill there, tell you what. Um, it's good. I like it. 
I do get the saltiness though. They could have cut that salt probably in half and, um, and been fine. If you're having this with other things to where you're not eating all four slices of turkey, like you're eating um, something else for a side, like a dressing or a mashed potatoes or something like that, and you're at least cutting this in half, if not a third, um, I think it would be good. It would be good. It would be just a good lunch, have a, a little extra side. Um, you can buy these same kind of meals, maybe not this brand, but these same kind of meals at Walmart for, um, you know, they have mashed potatoes, and I think they even have dressing and all kinds of different stuff. Um, I would probably get one of those, make it the night before, put them into whatever microwavable safe containers you have and microwave them the next day when you go into work. That would, that would be how I would do these. Instead of eating 3,000, 10 milligrams of sodium, um, I think I would split this turkey up because that's a lot of sodium. And I don't normally care about sodium and calories or anything. I'm just saying that is a lot of sodium for one meal. And you taste that sodium. So it'd be nice to kind of counterbalance it with something else that's not quite as salty because you do get that flavor. Um, overall, I like this. The gravy has a good flavor to it. The textures are really, really good. Um, the gravy has a really, it's not thick and gelatinous, but it is a thicker gravy. Um, so it's not really runny, like watery. Um, so it sticks to the turkey really good. Flavors are good, a little salty, but good. Um, overall, I'm gonna give this a four. Um, it's not quite something I would have all the time, but like I guess it really needs a side. I wish they would take this, of course, Hormel does have meals, um, but they need this turkey with this dressing with the side of the stuffing on its own. They have a shelf stable version of this that is not quite the same, but um, it does have the same flavor. But similar to that, I wish they would just have refrigerated versions of the meals that, uh, that you could take home and, and try out. I think those would be really good. So, four out of five for me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.